Now, in economy-related news, Korea's household and corporate debt to GDP ratio hit a record high in the third quarter, and this is fueling concerns that snowballing debt poses a serious risk to the Korean economy. Our Hwang Jie has the details. The Bank of Korea says the amount of household and corporate debt in Korea was almost two times higher than the country's GDP in the third quarter this year. The debt-to-GDP ratio stood at 182.6 percent, marking a new high. The figure edged down in the first quarter but breached the 180 percent mark for the first time in the following three months. Household and corporate debt includes loans and sales on credit. The record amount in the July to September period came on the back of surging household debt caused by eased real estate regulations and a record low key interest rate. Riding on the government's measures to boost home transactions, the central bank cut the key rate four times in less than a year period starting August last year. Given that analysts warn the debt burden is becoming a potential risk for the economy. If house prices drop suddenly, the debt problem will emerge as a serious issue that could worsen Korea's financial health and trigger a full-blown crisis. Third quarter household debt grew at its fastest pace since 2002 when the data were first compiled. The amount of debt stood at over 1 trillion U.S. dollars as of the end of September, up roughly 30 billion dollars from the end of previous quarter. Experts at the snowballing household debt could also dent consumption in the longer term as people will save money to pay back their loans. Hong Jie, Arirang News.